So this is what we dug out last week. That's what it should have looked like. And this is what it actually looks like. It's not a million miles off, but clearly I have made a right cock up with the uh, lines and the levels. Anyway, look, I've got to sort it out. So let's just crack on. It's the first time I've ever done it, right? So give me a break. <laughs> so this, by the way, this should say centimetres or add a zero one. So the section to the left where the stone build is going to go has got a wider footing at 60 centimetres. And then the right hand section is where the workshop bit is. That's only going to be timber. So I'm doing that at 45 centimetres. So first things first, I'm going to have to dig out by hand these areas here to get the worst of it done. Then what I'm going to do is for the other side is I'm going to put in what's called a wooden form. So this is a very shallow footing, just some stock image I got from somewhere, but it shows what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put a wooden form in where I think I need it. I'm going to slightly play it by ear. And then the advantage of that is, is that whilst I dig out the bit that's gone wrong, what I can then do is I can shovel the spoil from the bit I dig out into behind the form. So that's got two advantages. It gives me a way of filling in the area, but also it means I don't have to get all the waste out of the trench, which is quite deep. Then what we are left with is a place where the concrete can go in and everything will be sorted. Well, that's the theory anyway. There's the woodpecker. Can't see him. Where is he? So we're just looking at this corner down here. Uh, this is a drone yesterday, and I've drawn this dotted line, which is actually the centre line, according to the middle of the wooden um, joists. Is that the word for them? The bits of wood that go across. You know what I mean. And the centre line comes down here. Now you can see the blue measuring tape and a bit of wood here. So that's the centre, but I've got to go 20 centimetres to the left. Now I will measure this properly, but for the purposes of the film, God, I'm getting low on paint here, I must order some more. That's the line I need to dig to. Nope, there isn't paid sponsorship on this video. Good food costs less at Sainsbury's. Well, I've just dug that out of the ground, and I remember that slogan. Definitely in the 80s, but certainly I think into the 90s. It's 2021, and I can still read it. Well, in the end, I decided it was just too hard work to dig this end section out by hand. It was full of roots, 30 year old plastic bags, and actually loads of glass as well. Loads of broken glass made it really difficult. So for the sake of, I think, 60 pounds this cost for the day i got a micro digger back and just got in and dug it out with that ow fucking hell god that really did hurt and also i belted myself with a mallet a couple of minutes later not caught on camera Right, these are a load of curtain poles that I've sawn off and sharpened. And as you see, I'm gonna hammer them in each corner and get the builder string nice and taut around it. The reason why I'm doing this 
is because I need to get the drone up. Here's the drone. And I need to get some lines so I can be absolutely sure that I've got things parallel. There it is, drone versus camera. Quite creepy that. So here is the full horrors of what we started with. And now this is what we've got with the string lines. Now this section here where the mouse is, remember this has not been sorted or dug out. Um, so we're not expecting that to be fixed, but I want you to look at the top garage section and the vertical lines down the side and the horizontal at the bottom. They're actually looking pretty good. Um, I've marked out these two posts and we know that those are not correct. And if we now overlay a grid, you can kind of see what we're aiming at. But I want to draw your attention to the very top section of the garage section that's top left coming up. And if we zoom in a little bit closer on that, you can see that we are in really quite good shape. Um, and again, look at the bottom of the, the pole there, not the top. Uh, that shows you what we are aiming for. Footings fly by. That's not me coughing, if you can hear that. Here we go, got a nice form in here. This is already concrete pour. It's to the left of that form, I should say. Corner done here, some very nice digging work there, if I may say so myself. Just keep the load of soil in. Just got to scrape this one out, put some form, and it's time for the inspectors to tell me why it's all wrong. Well, it's very good news from Cheshire West and Chester Building Control. Uh, they came in, they checked out the footings, really nice guy actually and I have to say exceptionally helpful just about the whole thing. I had loads of questions for him to check out how we do the next bit. Now I'll cover more of that later. The one thing he did say is, is you know, how good's the ground here, how close are we to the sandbank? He did pick up on that. I said, well we're there or thereabouts, perhaps a bit further at this end. And he did suggest I, I would dig down a little bit to it. It's good though, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't causing a problem, it was just saying that that's what he'd recommend. Well, after three weekends, two full weekends and one Saturday, we are finally finished. Um, this is the workshop section. I was digging the bottom left-hand corner a second ago. Actually, there is a bit of work to finish off the far left where my tools are just to box that off. But anyway, you can see we've got some nice lines. You can see the string line in there. Just gonna rotate this by 90 degrees. And again, I've put the dotted line on. That's overlaid there to give you an idea what we're aiming at, looking pretty good. Next up, you can see the whole site again with the grid, with the string lines, and well, look, all in all, I'm really pleased with it. Anyway, if you like watching cockups, you are in for an absolute treat because coming up in the next couple of videos is the whole concrete fiasco. <laughs> a fiasco it is. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so that when this video appears, you get an update and you can see how I went around sorting it out. Thanks for watching, see you next time.